Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at getting started with Node.js inside of Visual Studio 2022. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. Node.js is an open source server environment which runs on various platforms like Windows, Linux, Mac OS, etc. It uses JavaScript on the server. And of course, Visual Studio is an integrated development environment for building software, creating mobile apps, web apps, etc. So first of all, as you can see, I've actually got Visual Studio installer opened. And I have Visual Studio Community 2022 installed as well. So to get us started, or uh, to be able to download and install the necessary components, what we have to do is click on the modify. So here on the modify, we have to make sure that we have the ASP.NET ASP and web development checked. Yeah. So once it's checked, yeah, we can scroll down and add um, the additional additional project templates yeah, from previous versions. Yeah. This is not really necessary, but it's, it's good to actually add it. So once that is added, then if you come here, you can see that we have the Node.js development. So we have to check on this box as well. So this is actually for us to build scalable network applications using Node.js. Yeah, so and whatnot. Yeah, so what we do is click on the modifier. So this will actually download and install what we, we've actually selected. So I'm going to pause the video while the whole thing takes effect. So as you can see, we have the download completed and installation almost done. So once it's done, then we go ahead with what is next. So while it's being completed, we just got to open the browser. So we're going to type uh, node, node.js download, yeah? So here, obviously, the first result so here you can select what is actually applicable to the system you're using so in my case i'm going to select the um the the windows 64 bit yeah so now we just got to go ahead and install the node.js on our system so we go through the installation click on the next and we accept the terms uh, click on the next click on the next click on next uh, this is automatically installed to this we're not gonna leave yeah so and here we go ahead and install so it it doesn't take long So we click on the finish to complete the installation and as you can see here now we've actually got this bit sorted out as well so what we do next is actually click on the launch to launch that visual studio so here obviously we create a new project so here as you can see here, we already have it on the um, We already have it on JavaScript, yes. So we're just gonna leave it as it is here on the on the language side, yeah. So if we look down, we have blank Node.js console app, blank Node.js web application, basic Azure, Node.js Express application, and whatnot. So if you look at it here, we've got a couple of Node.js applications to get us started. So what we do is we're just gonna select one of these applications just to look. Through look at what is actually inside so we go ahead and select the node.js express yeah and we click on the next so here obviously you can configure the app details yeah but we're not going to look too much into that yeah so now we have the project being created and we have the project created for us now 
so with all the the usual stuff yeah so here let's let's go into the code very briefly so if we look at it here uh, we have uh, we have some uh, we have three folders here. We've got one public, so this actually contains um, the images, the additional JavaScript and the style sheets. Yeah, and uh, this actually contains the root um, the routes. So we have index dot routes. Yeah, let's look at what is inside there. So this is actually um, this is actually registering the index page or the home page so if we look at it here inside the view so as you can see we've got in this top park here so this is basically the in this page that is actually referencing from here yeah so if we look at it here is this is just a very simple node application to get you started so basically you can you can edit this to uh, to suit whatever you want you're doing uh, you can look at this template to, to create something new for yourself right so what we do is we're just going to run it to see what actually comes out of it yeah so we're just going to leave it at microsoft edge so we can f5 or just click on this to see what actually comes out so as you, as you can see it's a very simple node application so this a node just um, express application yeah so it's nothing really difficult yeah so we look at the rest of the folder then see what we're gonna do so as you can see we have the index part so here so the hi title the, the p what is the p type welcome to um, Welcome to title. So what is what is the title? Let's go inside here and see if we can get anything that reference to the title. So as you can see here, the title is referenced as Express. Yeah. So we could change this bit or whatever. But we're not gonna we're not looking to change anything. So So let's add something to it. Welcome to my first. Uh, we're just gonna leave this dynamic post, and then we're just gonna put application here. So we're just gonna make it my first. Welcome to my first. node express application that sh should be displayed over there so just let's run it once one more and let's see what actually comes out so welcome to my first node express application so as you can see you can go ahead and edit it like this yeah so i'm not going to take too much of your time so if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do because i've got lots of videos coming up and I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.